My favorite list as we go through the winter is the babies. The babies. How are they going? Now, I'd love to tell you I saw AC Swan. I have never seen the filly in my life yet. I will see her when she comes back from Illinois. Um, when she comes back from Illinois in uh, soon. Soon she'll be coming back. Activation looks great in um, in Ohio. He's probably ready to go a mile three minutes. A lot of the Ohio horses are ready to go a little bit more. Lexington was six weeks ago. These horses can go a mile three minutes anytime. And you'll probably see them go three minutes. If I have my way and we're able to do a drone next Friday at uh, First Line and next uh, Saturday have the video up for uh, Northfield, that would be perfect. We'll see if that works out. That will be my job this week. Get the get the uh, open houses hopefully sorted away and uh, get some videos out to you guys for the babies. So activation, ready to go. Affection, also ready to go. Both those horses have come a long way since we broke them. Alibaba. I have not seen Alibaba yet. Another Illinois filly. Another class included filly. We'll see how these fillies look when they come back from Illinois. Antilles Hanover. He did his work all right the other day. I just need to see him do a little bit more. This guy's an, an international money gelding now. Uh, very happy with what I've seen, but I do need to see more from this guy. And I guess that's unfair. He just got here from Lexington, and he's already castrated. So we'll cut him some slack. But I would like to see him trot and do his work well um, in Northfield Park next Saturday. Arson looks incredible. Uh, I've seen him. Jason goes with this horse all the time. I love his gait. I love his attitude. I love everything about Arson. He looked very good. Blanton's Blue looked fantastic the other day. I let the little bugger rock, and he looked very, very good. Um, he's easily ready to go a slow mile. Easy. Uh, Born to Dance looked good again, too. I haven't gone with Born to Dance myself yet. I've seen him on the track. I've seen him do his work. I thought he looked pretty good. Chirahola looked good the other day. This is the What the Hill Philly, I think, if I'm not mistaken. She was the most expensive trotter we bought in in, in Ohio, if, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, really like this filly, and I can't wait to see her doing her work in the near future. Cowboy by the Sea looked good also. I've gone with him. He looked very, very, very good. Uh, on the track when I went with him. When we did those short videos maybe uh, three weeks ago, the other day he looked good again. Joey went with him. Uh, don't talk about Bruno. Bruno, we're going to be doing a lot of talking about Bruno in the near future. He looked very, very good on the track this morning and this week at the firm. Uh, Drebin. Drebin was a little sick and didn't get to go today, but I'm sure he'll be fine. Easy in the turns. Looks amazing. Uh, there's 10 shares of her left. I thought they were sold out. Huh. Easy in the turns. Looks very good. She looked uh, very, very, very good at the track today. Uh, training. Well, kind of training. Um, electric line looks good. Continues to look good. This is the Lather Up Colt. The one that Bill had bought in the Buckeye Classic and sent to us. This horse looks good on the track. Flashfly looked good today. Amy went with Flashfly today. She looked good. George of the Jungle looks good on the track also. I see a lot of shares gone. I thought there was more than this. Uh, George of the Jungle looks good on the track also. Goldbug Hanover. I haven't seen Goldbug yet. I went to go with her the other day. She had a little temperature and didn't get to go with the door. So I can't really tell you what she looks at in all honesty. I haven't seen the filly yet. But I've been very, very happy with the reports that I've heard. And very happy with everything surrounding this filly in particular. Uh, great bet. Looks good. We just crowded a curb on him. He both his curbs crowded since we got him. Horse looks good on the track and paces along really nice. This is the brother to greatest ending. Um, and very happy with great bets so far. Green tea looked good on the track the other day. This is the Docks horse from Wisconsin. Uh, I like green tea, like everything about green tea. Uh, I even drink green tea sometimes, so uh, there's that. Gypsy Hill looked amazing the other day. Gypsy Hill is definitely ready to train easily right now. Hallie in the Clouds, another one. She's ready to train too. She looked very, very good on the track today. Danny went with her. I'm fancy like. A little cranky, the little fancy filly sometimes, but did her work well the other day. I was happy with what I saw from Fancy. Insider trading was flying down the line. This filly, when we broke her, she was over on a shaft. She was out of gear. She was making breaks. She was being rude. You know, we left her head check off. I was just trying to be nice to her and uh, put her in gear coming out of the last turn for the whole way down the stretch. She, she probably picked up 10 lengths of the two that were kind of on a breakaway. Um, up front and she just blew right by them both. She looks I love this filly. I love Insider Trading. International Spy looks looks very very good. The blacksmith put it just is, is and for a guy who never saw him on the track, he said this horse is an is a consummate professional. When I, I said I shod this horse 
No TQ, no nothing. He didn't need anything. He didn't act up. He was a big, giant stud. Never bothered anybody on the cross ties when he was getting shod. Very classy horse, and everybody likes International Spy. Irresistible Sun, they love him over there. Now, I haven't gone with him. I'd like to go with him next week. This was kind of quietly one of my top picks in Ohio. For Triumphant Caviar, I've never had one that I liked yet, to be honest. And uh, I hope this will be the first, because I, I like, I do like Irresistible Sun. J-Port Beach Boy looked great today. Johnny went with him. I told you guys, this guy's got the perfect attitude, the perfect gait. And, men, and remember, brother, half-brother to Century Pharaoh. Um, all the right to be a nice horse, J-Port uh, Beach Boy. Now, Levesque in action, I haven't gone with much. Jason goes with her mostly. She's a bit of a cranky bugger too, but cranky in that fighting spirit type way. Um, she's been better on the track. They said she's been going good, but I, I haven't personally gone with her. Lonely Lakewood is in Ontario. Father Patrick Colt. This is the brother to Selfie Queen. Selfie Queen sold for a fortune in Harrisburg. This is her brother, and he looks good on the track. Johnny went with him today. Uh, first time training, I, I suspect going the right way anyway, since he was castrated. We did that because he was originally, we were sending up um, nothing but a dreamer, so we sent this guy also. Um... Lover's Play, this filly looks good on the track. Very quietly, everybody talks about her but doesn't really make a fuss about her. She does everything perfect. Uh, McPaisley looked great today for Danny. You guys are going to be, a lot of shares left in her too, right? You guys are going to be looking very closely at McPaisley all winter long. She looks very good. Melanie's Michaela is starting to get it, starting to look good on the track, happy with her. Horse that surprised the hell out of me how good he looked, Mel Gibson. I, I didn't, great name, but I didn't really go with him. I saw him on the track the other day and I went by Jason I said is that that Mel Gibson he goes yeah what a gorgeous horse big black bugger he looks amazing on the track uh, memory and imagination uh, I thought was good once we got him going the other day and he, he understood his job and his work and how he was supposed to do it he did everything perfect I was very happy with him militant continues to look good this is a six pack colt mounds for all castrating mounds for all and myself in the bar today they were both a little cranky the other day a little lethargic on the track they weren't sick either of them so i said those two there can be geldings very soon uh the vet said he was going to geld them today they still should be able to go next saturday now i might give myself in the bar some time off this guy just doesn't look super comfortable on the track i may just kick him out in the field for two three weeks and let him just reset he's been doing his work he's gated so that's fine he's ahead of the game in that regard just kind of a little mopey. So maybe we'll just kick him out in the field. Uh, and as I said, look for a little restart with him. No Chance in Hill looks very good on the track. Very happy with him. Oh, Snap You looks awesome. Super happy with our Ohio horses again this year as we head into the fall. Paycheck Princess. This is the Always Be Mickey Philly. Sharp. She's hot as a firecracker on the track, but she does her work well. Pa uh, pickpocket looked good the other day. <laughs> I, got, I got Pickpocket and Mounds for All mixed up and I said that pickpocket horse got to be a gelding soon and they said that's not that's not pickpocket it's it's mounts for all I said well that mounts for all horse got to be a gelding soon so they look very similar on the track uh, pickpocket Daryl went with him he looked awesome um, Prince Charmer looks good also the long Tom Colt still can't figure out the sale price for him and he looked good on the track pull the shoes looks great everybody loves her punch the clocks in Ontario didn't go to wasn't eating her food real good the last day or so looks fine no temperature no snot no nothing wrong with her in that regard she just looked a little blah so we just give her the day off uh, purple people eater looked great I was gonna ask somebody how's that purple filly going and then zoom, she went blown by me uh, going the right way of the track and, and I was like oh never mind I know who that is she looked very good on the track uh, ready for landing. I love the way this horse looks on the track. He is an amazing looking colt. Really don't care. Again, we've got such a do deep group of, of babies here. Jesus. Um, really don't care. Look great. Royal Emerald's doing her work well now. She had the hobbles on. Probably doesn't need them on anymore, but we'll leave them on her for a little bit. Seasons of Love got them on today. She was not doing all her work great. I went on the track without the hobbles. She was cantering and pacing and screwing around. I said, no, 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 not today, dear. Back in the barn. Put the hobbles on her for the first time ever in her life. And she went out and did her work very, very, very well on the main track today. Uh, Sedona Hill is it does everything perfect. Just a very nice horse. And probably one of my early favorites is Southwind Digit. Just because of the way she goes about her work. What she did the other day, she shouldn't have been able to do. Sitting fifth and not even have shoes on behind yet. She's not even shod yet from the sale. The... the Kind of one made a break and it kind of opened up down the stretch. You'd think a baby would look around and be a little timid. I just moved her over and there was enough room to go through. She ducked into her head check and was 
right through the middle of them and look just amazing doing it. So I love when horses do stuff like that. She's one that sticks out in my mind right now. Sully's Landing looks just a big, strong colt. He's going to look really, really good all winter long. Sunset Acres Girl, little bit of a mouth on her like a buffalo. May actually be a buffalo. I don't know her breeding. She's supposed to be a standard bred, and she can trot, but she has got a dirty mouth on her. She hooks on, ready to go. Whoa, look out. Uh, I might actually put the hobbles on her this week because I, I know she, she's not going to be... I don't know where her bottom end will be. I don't know where she'll top out speed-wise, but she'll be able to train down with these horses. The way her gait is and the way she looks, she's got a snarly attitude, too. Uh, I, don't, I don't mind it, though. She's tough. She's tough. Third and six looks great on the track. Time is on my side. Look great today. You're going to hear me gush about this horse all winter long because I liked him, right? He wasn't my top pick in the sale. We didn't get our first, second, third, or fourth pick in the Lexington sale, but we did get our fifth, and his name is Time is on my side. Like the way he looks on the track. Union suit looks good every week. He's a twin of Slim Jimmy. Vaccaro blue chip. This guy's going to be a gelding soon. Beautiful colt, but really acts up, bounces around, just being a goofball on the track. His time is running out. We'll give you a certain amount of time to sow your wild oats, so to speak. Be rude on the track, bounce around, be stupid. We'll give you time, but that time can run out, and it will run out very soon for Vaccaro Blue Chip. Victory Blue Chip looks great on the track. Um, looked good the other day. Watch your mouth. Picked it up like that. All business now pacing, and looks very, very good. Uh, widespread Panic looks good on the track, does his work very well. And our girl, great way to end the list, Winter Bells. What a beautiful filly. You know, I was hard on the, the shadow plays for a long time, but the last two years, the ones we've had, been very, very nice. And Winter's Bell, Winter Bells is probably just one of the sweetest fillies you'd ever want to see. Great gait, great attitude. She moves nice. Very, very happy with this filly. So that's it. That's your year. What do you want? I'm at the tall part. Okay. I'm at the tall part is my cue to get up and get the Christmas lights on the house. I'm all done. You're all done. You have your videos. Take care.